What is going on everybody? Welcome to Daily Shoot. So today, Brad Maddox has been released from WWE. Now, he was released today on Thanksgiving Eve. And there is a reason behind it, behind the sudden release for Brad. Or if you know him from Up, Up, Down, Down, Meatball. And the reason is because the company, WWE, was not happy about the language Maddox used during a dark match promo and last night's SmackDown taping. Maddox using the phrase cocky pricks was specifically cited as something that upset people in the company and the decision was made to release him today. Now, that, that sucks for Brad Maddox because recently, I think what most people know him for is for being tombstoned by The Undertaker on Jimmy Fallon in a turkey costume. Like before that, I don't think a lot of people remember who Brad Maddox was unless you watched Up Up Down Down. Shout out to that. And even though it feels so sudden, hopefully everything works out for Brad because I mean he's one of those superstars that he probably came in and he started to get like every superstar have a little push, but I don't think he was going over with the fans or anybody really cared in general, so they pushed him back. And that happens sometimes in WWE or in this wrestling business that you get out there and they want you to get over, but it just doesn't happen. Hopefully everything works out for him in the end. Next up, we have an update on Sting at WrestleMania 32. It was reported that there has been no talks lately of having Sting compete at WrestleMania 32. And additionally, the report states that there has been no talk of Sting facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania either. So, if anybody was thinking of the Dead Man vs. The Icon at WrestleMania for it to finally happen, well, think again because it probably won't be happening. It is noted that WWE still plans to have John Cena wrestle either The Undertaker or Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 32. If you don't remember, Sting was last seen on WWE television in a match against Seth Rollins at Night of Champions and then... We saw him injure his neck, and he's been sidelined ever since. Now, I feel like you need Sting at WrestleMania 32, though. Whether it's in a match with Undertaker or whoever it is, you need Sting because it's kind of up in the air if you're going to have The Rock at WrestleMania 32. And if you're going to fill WrestleMania 32 in the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Dallas, Texas, you need a big draw. You need as many draws as you can at WrestleMania 32 because you want to fill the 100,000 seat requirement thing you want to break the record at the at t stadium you really just want to break the record for attendance at wrestlemania and you need someone to draw them and if it's not the rock sting should be one of them stone cold steve austin doesn't matter who it is just you got to bring everybody everybody's got to get called up even if sting is just going to be there for a promo better than nothing next up we have Sami Zayn returning to nxt possibly really soon now, Sami Zayn is being advertised to appear at the upcoming WWE NXT UK Tour in December. It was reported a few weeks back that Zayn had returned to the WWE Performance Center. The former NXT Champion was sidelined with a shoulder injury since June. And a while back ago, we also reported that it, he wasn't recovering on the schedule that WWE wanted. And there was a bunch of reports stating that Sami Zayn's return to NXT might take a bit longer. Might even be till 2016 just because it was just taking longer than usual on his recovery back in the ring in the Performance Center and whatnot. But... After hearing this, it sounds like good news because, you know, he's back in the Performance Center, he's back at it again, and it looks like he's recovering well from his injury, and if he is coming back in December, thank you, because, you know, I like Sami Zayn, his character, his what he can do in the ring, he's really good, and he was just a little bit off from being onto the main roster and doing something good there. I mean, Kevin Owens is doing something good there at the moment. Maybe they'll do the whole thing of Sami Zayn will come in and challenge Owens for the Intercontinental Championship the same way Owens came in and challenged Zayn for the NXT Championship. So whatever they do, I'm looking forward to Sami Zayn's return. And hopefully it is until 2016. Hopefully it is in December. And lastly, the Dudley Boys talk on WWE needing The Rock at WrestleMania. During a recent appearance on a podcast, the Dudley Boys were talking about WrestleMania 32 and what exactly WWE needs. And I was talking about it earlier how they need a draw. They need The Rock, Sting, Steve Austin, whoever it is. The Dudley Boys think the same thing because they're saying that if WWE wants to put 
100,000 people into the AT&T Stadium or even more, they do need someone like The Rock. They need all hands on deck for the show. Devon goes to explain that if you have The Rock on the show, that means more people want to buy the show, more people want to come see the show, and it's bigger payoffs for everybody. I very much agree. When you have someone like The Rock, it's still up in the air if he's going to be there because of the whole filming a movie and whatnot. And it might be really difficult if he's there to make a promo or whatever because I'm pretty sure he won't be able to wrestle or compete. But Steve Austin, Sting, whoever it is, just get everybody, man. Plus, I think it'd be really nice to have everybody at the 18th Stadium because it looks like it's going to be a memorable WrestleMania. And hopefully it is. Hopefully we're not that disappointed. Kind of like 30. 31 was really good WrestleMania. And it's been a while since we had a good WrestleMania like 31. 